Kings and Queens, what's going on? It's your boy Terrell, aka Just Praise, and I am so honored to bring this video before you to share Father's love, His compassion, His mercy, His glory, His grace to you. And, and when I say Father, I'm talking about God Himself, the Most High Himself. That's right, the one that's on my hat, Jesus Christ, if you ain't got it. God loves you so much, and He is so amazed by you. He is so thrilled by you. Listen to me. He says that His mercies and compassions are new to you every single morning. His mercies and compassions are new for you every single morning. Look, I got a wife and a beautiful son on the way, an amazing daughter, and I love them so much and my compassion for them thrives every day. I will give my life for them. I can cry right now. I love them so much and I'm a man and I'm a sinner, but I have that compassion for my family. Listen, if I have that for my, my family and I'm just a man, imagine how much more that God has for you when he says that his mercies and his compassions are new for you every single morning. They are new. You're like a breath of fresh air to God. Like every single morning, you're a brand new baby. God loves you so much and he's so thrilled and amazed by you. Listen, there's a reason why I call you kings and queens. And I literally call people this every day. I greet people. They're greeted by king or queen. And there's a reason for this. Second Corinthians 6, 18 says, and I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord God Almighty. These are not the words of a man. These are the words of God himself declaring to you that you are his sons and daughters and that he is your father. Now let's go to John 3.16. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hold on, let's freeze right there. Who is God's son in the scripture? Who is God referring to in the scripture? That's right, Jesus Christ, right there. <laughs> so if Jesus Christ is God's son, and God declares that we also are his sons and daughters in 2 Corinthians as we just read, then that what does that make Christ to us? That's right, our brother. In fact, it makes us his, his younger brothers and sisters, and it makes him our older brother. Literally, the word of God tells us this. God is no liar. He backs up his word. You're literally a younger brother or sister to Christ, and I'll prove it. Romans 8.29 says, Them he foreknew, he also did predestinate to be conformed into the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. The firstborn among many brothers. The word of God just told you and just declared to you and confirmed to you that Christ is your older brother. So then if Christ is your older brother, then that means that you share in the same inheritance and the same glory and the same power and the same majesty as Christ himself shares or has. That's why in Romans 8, 17, it says that we are joint heirs with Christ and heirs to the throne of God. Why are we joint heirs with Christ? Because we are his younger siblings, his younger brothers and sisters. If I'm a younger brother of Christ, then I share in the same inheritance that Christ has. Because I'm his younger brother. I'm his younger sister. It's amazing. It's incredible. This is your identity. This is who you are. God loves you so much. This is why even Ephesians 2.5 says that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. We're not seated beneath him. We're not seated above him. We're not seated behind him. We are with him in heavenly places. Why? Because you are his younger brothers and sisters. You share in the same glory and power and inheritance and love and majesty as he shared. That's why Romans 8.30, if you go down to 8.30, he tell you that uh, them he uh, uh, predestinated, he also did uh, justify and glorified. So if Christ has glory and you're his younger brother or sister, you too share in that same glory. You're an heir to that. That's who you are. That's your identity. So when he says that he's the king of kings and lord of lords, who is he talking about? Is he talking about that he's the king of some kings that are have kingdoms on the earth and some lords of the persons that have lord in front of their name? Or is he talking about his younger brothers and sisters, his younger siblings? He's talking about his younger siblings. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. Remember, he said, I'm no friend to evil. I'm no friend to the wicked. I'm no friend to the unrighteous. I'm a friend to the righteous and the ones that walk upright. And of course, them that are brothers and sisters of Christ walk upright as he walks upright. Because we are his younger brothers and sisters. We share in the same glory. And 1 John 4, 17 says this. Herein is perfect love. That we might have boldness, boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As Christ is, so are we in this world. 
As he is glorified, so are you glorified in this world. As he wears a crown, so do you wear a crown in this world. As he is royalty, so are you royalty in this world. As he is justified, I mean, as he is uh, uh, glorified, I said it already, so are you glorified in this world. But still, it's still saying that whatever Christ is, so are you in this world. There's nothing weak about you. To talk about you is to talk about Christ if you are a joint heir to him. And if you are what he is in this world. God loves you so much. Know who you are. This is your identity. This is who he has created you to be. Walk in this glory. Walk in this power. Walk in this love. Walk in this freedom. I'm telling you because you are exactly what God says you are. He is no liar. We are liars. We lie. Not him. His word is true. And when he says you are a son, when he says you are a daughter, that makes you royalty. So king and queen is the proper way to greet royalty. Because you are sons and daughters of the Most High God and joint heirs with Christ. I encourage you to walk in that glory, walk in that power, know who you are and be bold and courageous. And know that you are loved by the Most High God. I command every chain off of you. I command every yoke to break and every burden to be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus' name. God loves you so much and I love you kings and queens and I will see you again. Alright, I love you. Bye. I, I need you to explore you, my friend. I, I need you to explore you, my friend. And I can feel your love deep inside me. It's growing within. Explore you, my friend. I, I need you to explore you, my friend. I, I need you to explore you, my friend. And I can feel your love.